Hey everybody, it's Michelle, and welcome back to Lucy and the Vampires. Last time, Lucy, well, it isn't Lucy and the Vampires anymore, it's Lucy is one of the Vampires. Lucy had a bit of a makeover, as you can tell. She uh, had to embrace her dark side with a little bit of a darker new look. Now, right now, it is her first day as a vampire. She is, you know, in the past, I would say, five hours, she caught on fire, extinguished herself, turned into a vampire, changed her look at the behest of her vampire sire, and is now getting super hungry. So I think it's time for her to maybe ask some questions of her, of her sire. Let's see. She's going to request training. She's not quite sure what to do as a vampire. She knows some of the things because she's been very uh, adept at research. So now she's requesting from Apuleius. She's just requesting additional training. And he is transferring some of his vampiric knowledge into her. She's getting to learn from someone. Now, Apuleius, one of these days we're going to do just a show or excuse me, an episode uh, focused on him. But he's been around since Roman times. He is a really interesting dude, and I would love to tell more about him in an upcoming episode. Oh, look at that. She went up a PowerPoint. However, she's super hungry now. Uh, she's going to have to... She knows about plasma already, right? Girl knows about plasma. I don't think she would feel any remorse whatsoever at finding a human to chomp on. I, I think that would be just fine. I mean, she's been dreaming about that her whole life. She has not been dreaming about vampires sucking on the little Capri Sun packages that are plasma. She has thought about them, you know, chomping on people. So I think that's, that's where she needs to go. Let's look at her PowerPoints to see what she wants to do as a vampire, you know, sort of her first level powers. I think she would really like to be a bat. I think she would super love to be a bat. She doesn't know enough to use less energy. That That's more advanced. For her, you know, she's really, she's young. She's just out of high school. She's, you know, full of excitement and like stereotype about vampires. So I think we're going to do detect personality. And, oops, no, no, not cast hallucination. Actually, let's not do detect personality yet. Let's do each. I keep trying to do a hallucination. Uh, eternally welcome. So she can go visit her family and her friends and all that and then just walk right in. But we need to get this girl some food. Penelope says, food's outside. But you know what? It's 1 p.m., which means the easiest thing for her to do is invite someone over. That's what they encourage her to do. Invite someone over. Invite someone human who you may have connected with at some point. Not one of your good friends, but just someone human over to Narfon. So let's see. It looks like certainly not one of her family members. She is not like that. How about Paolo? I think she might invite Paolo to come over. I think she thought she was cute back when she was a teenager, which is meh. So I think we'll take advantage of his previous interest. Oh, I'm so excited to have her be a bat soon. She's going to love that. Okay, he's outside. Oh, shoot. Did she not see him quickly enough? Oh, God, that's frustrating. Stop jogging. Stop jogging. Ask to hang out. That sometimes works if she can get after him quickly enough. Oh, okay. She has her umbrella. Good, good. Way to have that umbrella. Let's see. You know what? She is a very young vampire and it's the middle of the day and there are people around and... <gasps> Oh, they're getting in a fight. Oh, well, that's good. They're getting in a fight before. Before she tries to eat his... Drink his blood. Excuse me. People are going to notice that she's a fighter and give her negative reputation. <gasps> Gasp. 
All right, so they had a good, they had a neighborhood brawl fight. And now she really, really needs to eat. She does. She needs to eat more than, oh my God, he left. You know what? Hello, sir. Whoever you are, whoever you are, elder, you are getting, yeah, it's time. It's time for Lucy to visit the buffet for the first time. Oh, Lucy's, yep, yeah, Lucy's topping off. Like, pulling the handle on the gas, uh, the gas nozzle three times. Oh, yeah. Thunk. She's fed. She fed for the first time. How you doing, Lucy? Let's look at her. Okay. She has sanguinary satisfaction. That plasma really hit the spot. She's feeling good. She's feeling triumphant because she survived a fight with Paolo. She's doing pretty good. Now I think, is he at the house? Where are you, Paolo? Oh, he's in the house singing badly. Boo. Go startle him. Go startle him. Nope, she's not interested in that. You know, Paolo, she, I, she, she, Lucy is a nice girl. She invited him to come hang out, so she's going to talk to him for a few, even though she's really, she's she's not into our, our favorite Jim, Jim Bunny Paolo. But she did invite him over to drink his blood. Oh, Apuleius and Penelope are getting into their first fight ever. That's not true. But they're getting into their first fight with each other ever. Okay, you gave him like 10 minutes. I think it's time for Lucy to, to, I think it's time for Lucy to visit home. I think it is. I talked about that in the last episode, how I think Lucy should go home. Be like, hey, mom and dad, I have a brand new sort of unhealthy pale vitality. Okay, she's back and you know, this place where she grew up, this place she loves. Vampire. Oh, she can't vampirically. Vampiric entrance. Go home. You're burning up. Go home. Hey, everybody. It's me. Mom. Ah. Friendly. She want. Okay, don't ask them for advice on biting technique. Now she discovered, or we discovered, <laughs> maybe Lucy doesn't know, but we found when Penelope was flirting with Louisa so hard, we realized that um, it's all my fault. I just did it wrong in Cass. But that Hector and Louisa aren't actually married. I think this is my covering up my game ineptitude. I think Louisa and Hector have been separated for years, but have stayed together because of the kids. And they're good friends, and they hang out together, but... They're not actually married anymore. Maybe they never got, maybe they were never married. That happens. Yeah, she feels a real need. She feels a real need to connect with them. And I think what we're gonna do too, since we have, she's gonna take a photo of them. She's taking a photo of her mom. With Ian right behind. That's hilarious. Let's not get your brother's butt in a picture. That's just weird. And let's get a picture. Mosquito. The mosquito pack just dropped. So, of course, I want to take pictures of people. Oh, gosh darn it. It keeps doing just one. That is not actually what I want. So, let's take a picture. I was trying to get a picture with. Let's try to get a picture with Ian. Her little brother. Take photo with. Now, how many people? Okay, just one. Oh, 
Selfie time. Aw, oh, Ian grew up in this such a cutie. He's a cute teenager now. He's like, wow, you uh, really started to go in for the whole leather goth thing. He's like, how'd you get the money for that? Aren't you like some struggling blogger? And she's like, no, it's cool. I've met people. <laughs> so now, of course, her family's getting completely worried about her. You know, which kind of the barn door is already wide open, considering that she's already a vampire. Hey, Dad. Hug lovingly. Wait, did Ian just sort of recoil from her? And she's getting her social up, which is great. Heartfelt compliments. Bright and day. And I think she's going to take a picture of her dad, too. Pictures of her mortal life up on the wall of her new apartment. <gasps> Wait, they said Lucy just aged up to adult? What? Oh, there's Dad. Oh, that's a cute picture. I like that. Now, do poses work in this... Oh my god, they do work. Just with general. <laughs> okay, so you press the emotion. And then up here to change the poses. Okay, that's romantic. We're not going to want that. <laughs> These are so goofy. Let's do a happy one. Just happy. Happy to hang with your daughter. There we go. That's hilarious. Now she's tired, which I'm noticing. She's actually pretty darn tired. Lucy, what you doing? Oh, don't, you can't eat. Sweetie, you can't eat. Just don't. But she always eats and her mom's like, honey, why aren't you eating? I made, I made breakfast for everybody. Just grab some eggs and, oh, you're skinny as it is. Why aren't you eating? Lucy? And Lucy decides to fix the fridge instead. Excellent. That's nice. She fixed her refrigerator. No, it's, it's good to see them. She loves them, but look how different she is from them now. Look how much life has changed. She's going to go into her bedroom, the bedroom she occupied up until like a month ago. And like, this was her life. And now it's her dad's study. But you know, this, this was her little den, her identity. And now everything has changed. For example, check that mirror out. There's no Lucy. And that has got to be freaky. Okay, Dad's playing video games again. Ian, Mom is cleaning up the mess. Ian's just hanging out. Let's take a picture of him. I don't plan on doing a lot of this take photo of. We just have a couple more subjects. But I really want her to have reminders of her mortal life. You know, she was just part of that mortal life. Oh, my goodness. That is a tank top, Ian. I don't think that's the pose we want. How about... <laughs> he could be goofy. I like goofy. Finger guns! <laughs> yes. 
finger guns. Every need, everyone needs a picture of their brother doing finger guns. Wow. Well. I think, you know, nothing's really changed. They're watching TV. Dad's exercising. None of them have changed, but she has. She's changed really irrevocably. This isn't her life anymore. Whew, I think she's going to run across the street to say hi to her best friend. Visit Tasha. Now, Tasha was her best friend and from high school. They haven't really talked much since... Uh, they graduated. Vampiric entrance. I love vampiric entrances. No door is closed to our Lucy. And by the way, I'm in love with this 70s house. <laughs> I did make this for the Sykes family. This thing has been stuck in the 70s for a good long time. Uh, I do enjoy this house very much. But anyway... Where is Tasha? Let's find her. There we go. Oh, she's getting into bed. Let's see if we can... Friendly introduction. I wonder if it's a... I wonder if it's a vampire thing. But they've been friends for years. Interesting. I wonder if it reset. Let's just talk to all of them at once. I mean, that's poignant, isn't it? You know, she comes to see her best friend and her best friend's family, and she spent all this time with them growing up, and now people don't even recognize her. And I, you know, the reason I'm kind of making a deal out of it is because I actually played Lucy throughout her teenagerhood before I even started doing the Let's Play, because I wanted to get a handle on her and the people in her lives. And this is just fascinating to me from a gameplay perspective. So let's, let's see. Nope. So I can't really go back. <laughs> I've got both of them, but it's a weird picture. Doba Harthen. Hey. <laughs> let's try to take a picture specifically of Tasha. Tasha. Now these girls were a year or so behind Lucy, which is why they're still teenagers and Lucy is a young adult. <laughs> Look at her trying to be modely. Oh, funny. Some of these poses are just adorable. <laughs> I think we already have one finger gun picture tonight. We don't need two. Oh, how about Goofy? Goofy is adorable. Let's try Goofy again. See if there's... Oh, that's cute. We'll do this one. All right, so we took some... Pictures of our former best friend who barely knows us now. The other problem going on is Lucy is about to pass out. She doesn't have any vampire energy because she's used it to enter these houses. Other folks are going, to, you know, she just really doesn't belong here anymore. She doesn't really belong here anymore. And she can watch some TV, and she can try and hang with her old friends. They all went to bed. She might as well go to sleep. She's going to go home. Oh, look at her hissing out in the living room. Aw. Vampire got a vamp. Go home, Lucy. But, you know, it's 7.30 in the morning. Lucy would be getting up and going to school, maybe going to work. The police is swimming. Everyone loves that pool. 
But seriously, you know what? When it comes right down to it, there's family and then there's family. And Lucy has gained one and lost one. And I think it's time for her to think about her new family. She needs to drink again. Mm. She's going to be drinking a lot as a youngin. But here's this new family that, that reads and... <laughs> Oh, that's right. Look at this. This is so cute. Penelope has a vanity in her bathroom and she's in there reading. Everyone likes to read. But Lucy, I think it's time to unhappily, begrudgingly realize who your new family is. And uh, how about you play some chess with your sister? I think we're going to call it here. It wasn't as event-filled as our last episode, but it's a poignant thing, isn't it? You know, at some point you leave, you leave your first family behind and kind of blend that with the new families of your adulthood. Man. Next episode, I think we're going to take a closer look at Apuleius and some of the big vampire conflicts happening in the community. I want to thank you guys once again for coming along for another episode of Lucy and the Vampires, and I will see you in my next video.